Uh, we're hopeful. We're hopeful that he's, you know, out here. Uh, certainly we prepare for all different possibilities. Uh, but, uh, you know, our, our goal is to, to locate him and uh, bring him back to Northport. What makes you think it's this area that he might be in? Uh, his family says that this is uh, a place that he frequents. They also believe that this is where he came. Um, and, again, this is according to them. And does he like to hike in this area? Like, what does he do here? That's my understanding. That's what they've uh, believed. They believe that he came out here on Tuesday. And what exactly did they tell you about what happened on Tuesday? Was it in the evening? Like, he walked out? Did he say anything to his parents? Uh, he had his backpack. Um, he said that this is where he was coming. And did he say why? Uh, not that I'm... Not that I'm... Why they wait not that I know. Why did they wait until yesterday to tell you that this... Thing? That's a great question. Um... You know, we've obviously been trying to reach the family and, and them to, to get answers in this case since Saturday. Um, the first time that we've had any in-depth full conversation with them was, was yesterday. Uh, their attorney called and said uh, uh, the family is concerned about Brian's whereabouts. Um, they would like to file a missing persons report. Has the, federal agency, has the federal agency aided in any way with regards to cell phone tracking? Of course. Does that bring you here along with what the parents say? Uh, I, I do not believe that's what brought us here. I believe that we're acting. Some of that stuff takes time uh, to get all of that. Um, we've been working on that for, for basically where they've been for the last three weeks. So uh, certainly over the last 12 hours, I don't know that we've been able to triangulate that, if you will, uh, but we are certainly... Uh, at this point, we're going by their word. We're going by the family's word of uh, where they think uh, that, that he's at. Um, we believe that his vehicle may have been here, too. And when the family said yesterday that he, he had been keeping missing since Tuesday, did they say that he was here yesterday, or did, is this something they just told you guys today? They, they, they said the last time they saw him is when he came here. You mentioned his vehicle. What about the vehicle? Was the vehicle found on site? It was not. It was not. Where was the vehicle found? It, it, it was uh, at the laundry's home. At, the, at their home? Yes. Well, you said that they thought that he was in his vehicle. Right. So, I mean, if it was at their house, why would they think that? <laughs> I mean, look, we're going by their word. Um, we believe that that vehicle did make its way from here back to that house. Uh, Do we think his skills could maybe be more of a challenge since he's used to being outdoors and it's so rugged out here? Could he be deeply involved? Yeah, I mean, these are people that were living off the grid in different areas. Uh, you know, I don't know how frequently if he would come out here and do, you know, day-long hikes or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, you could be out here for, for months if you wanted. He's got the vehicle tracked here and then he's found it back home. Is there any indication that there might be somebody aiding him in his attempts to evade? Well, any indication? Any indication yeah. that maybe there'd be somebody else I mean, I think, back? you know, we have to go by what they're telling us at this point. Certainly, certainly we are looking at, you know, to corroborate all of the information we've received. And what day did the vehicle leave the house and what day did it return? Was that all on Tuesday? Uh, I believe it was Tuesday. I, I, I actually, uh, as far as it coming here, I do not know the date that it, it was returned. And what type of vehicle was it? I be, uh, you know, we're getting into some things that I think are, I certainly have not had a conversation about what I can say and what I can't. Uh, can but but we know the answer to that. With can you tell us about the canines? Thousands of acres and heavily wooded. What obstacles are you guys facing out here? Well, you just named it, right? I mean, we got, it's wooded, it's been wet, um, it's hot, uh, but, you know, I mean, we, we have drones up, um, we have four-wheelers, uh, you know, and we've got 50 people who are, are used to dealing with these types of elements. I mean, most of these folks are from Florida and know what it's like. And it sounds like something could probably solve a lot quicker if people would just talk to you. It seems like they're Man, going to you got the good questions today. Uh, family, I guess. Yeah. If, or if he's even watching this, what would you say? I mean, like sure. Well, I mean, this is where we're at. I mean, that's the, that's the bottom line. You know, our job is, you know, Brian is a resident of this community. Brian was not uh, a, a suspect in a crime. Uh, Brian was a person of interest and a missing person. You know, we're not following him everywhere he's going. You know, there's been some of that, you know, that conversation floating out there, and that's that's just not how it works. Um, Could you tell us how? For those that don't know. No, I can't, I can't tell you exactly how it always works, but, um, you know, what I know is that, you know, were we trying to keep an eye out kind of where he's at so that when needed we could, 
you know, potentially reach him, yes. Uh, but, you know, our focus uh, was putting resources on trying to find Gabby. We knew that if, look, Brian wasn't willing to talk. That was abundantly clear. We were attempting, attempting, attempting. So we were putting our resources on trying to find Gabby. Uh, we knew we, we would uh, deal with Brian eventually, um, but this is certainly a twist. Is there any concern, especially since the parents withheld this information, that this could be just another decoy, maybe a way to throw you off for a little bit while he moves on? Well, I'll, I'll leave that speculation to, to you guys. Um, you know, don't forget, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I, I've never had a missing child in my life, but I think you get to, you know, a point of concern, whether that be a day, two days, three days. I think that depends on the individual and the circumstances. Uh, remember, I mean, you know, Gabby's parents, it was, it was a significant amount of time before they became concerned. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, yeah, I can't fully answer that. And did the parents say anything about Gabby last night, or did they only want to talk about Brian? Their attorney was on the phone with us and, uh, you know, was giving them counsel uh, as we spoke, and all of the conversation was only about the whereabouts of Brian. And Is there any chance no, I, I have no information that that is even uh, likely. So you mentioned even earlier likely. today there was uh, canines out there. They had some articles of clothing. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so that? we've received a couple questions uh, overnight about, you know, there was some things taken out of the home uh, yesterday uh, during the, you know, this missing person investigation. And uh, those were articles of clothing for our canines to be able to get a scent. Mm -hmm. And for those that keep asking, you know, with a person of interest, you want to talk to them, but he wouldn't we don't have a crime you know we're looking for somebody you know I mean that's 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 it I mean we can't uh, go just pulling people in he certainly has the Fifth Amendment not to speak uh, and uh, you know we're respectful of that we get it we're frustrated just a couple more please I mean, I'm sure I could be here all day um, that's a technical question. I, I think that that's accurate. When you when you go to the door, and you um, say we'd like to, are, are you willing to speak with us about what's going on? And they say, uh, here's the name and number for our attorney. I mean, I, I don't know if they actually said that the, the physical words of that. But that's been widely publicized. I don't. I don't um, have any that. Any chance that the family thinks he's suicidal? Um. I don't know that I'm comfortable saying that. I think we can, you know, anything's, anything's possible. Can you speak to some of the tactics? I know there's K-9 units and different things that are, that are going on, just what you guys are using to search. Sure. Them. So we, uh, we've got, you know, five, six different agencies that are out there. We've got 50-plus uh, folks. Uh, we've had drones in the air. We've got uh, bloodhounds, canines, uh, four-wheelers, Side by sides, uh, certainly uh, out there. It's very wet. How many dogs? Uh, I, we are working in conjunction with the <laughs> FBI uh, to lead this investigation. We saw airboats being used earlier. Is that part of the investigation as well? Um, they I, I, actually, I have not heard the word airboat. Uh, it's possible this canal that runs—is that where you saw them right here in this canal? Yeah. Um, so what they did is they started the search kind of in. The park area, if you, certainly most of you are not familiar with this park, it's about 200 acres, and then there's a bridge which crosses over into the Carlton, which is about 25,000 acres. So the initial focus was on the 200 acres here, and then spreading out there. Do you have an estimate of how long it would take to search that entire 25,000 do I do not, but you can imagine uh, a long time. What would you need for this to become a criminal investigation? I think we would need uh, official confirmation of a crime. And would you classify this as a grid search? Yeah, I think that's probably fair. Uh -huh. This is where he park, entered. Can you describe the conditions that your teams are in right now? And will be in uh, it's muddy. It's wet. Um, there are a few unpaved uh, dirt roads that are out there basically running along power lines. Um, you know, it's a, it's a place that people hike. There are uh, mountain biking trails out there. The Mayakahatchee Creek runs from Mayaka City, runs down uh, basically... Uh, into the city, it's also diverted along these man-made canals that are over here. It's believed that he entered from here? Correct. Does Brian own a gun? Um, I cannot speak to that. Is there any reason that people that live nearby or people that may be in the park should be concerned? Or what advice do you have for them? 
Well, I mean, there's 50 law enforcement officers out here, so it's probably the safest place in, in Northport. Um, I don't have any information that, you know, other, other people's lives are in danger. Is the park closed to the public? It is. At this moment, do you believe Brian might be in danger? Sure. I think that's fair to say. I mean, you have somebody, <clears throat> there's an enormous amount of uh, pressure, uh, I'm sure, on him to provide answers on what's going on here. What was his emotional state when he left his parents' house? I, I, I'm not, I don't know. I don't. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody.